CD19 CAR T cell therapy is now coming very fashionable and also getting into clinical practice. Uh, what we experience is that a certain number of patient responds, but uh, there is no endurant response. The T cell population of CAR T cells is vanishing and this finally results in the relapse of the disease. So what we need is new technology to make uh, CAR T cell populations more endurant, to have endurant response of the underlying lymphoma or leukemia. And we think that uh, introducing a third element into third generation CAR T cells can do the job. There is very few uh, clinical information on that topic yet. Uh, we are just a uh, number four trial worldwide on, on CAR T cells of third generation. And uh, we have so far treated uh, four patients, two with complete responses. Uh, and that uh, really enchants us and uh, uh, gives us uh, hope uh, that we are on the right track. And we are continuing to uh, recruit patients with acute lymphoblastic leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So what we see is that we have uh, a very well uptake in craftment of CAR T cells. There is uh, in the first month uh, a tremendous uh, increase in the frequency of these CAR T cells of second generation. But then uh, T cells either get energic, inactive, or they are cleared by mechanisms which are not fully understood yet. That might be um, an, 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 an uh, creation of uh, human anti-mouse antibody directed uh, antibodies which clears the CAR T cell populations or just uh, T cells which were effector T cells and then were turned down they burned out uh, also because of the lack of the antigen CD19 so we think uh, it's also important besides the third element, a second co-stimulatory molecule, to use the right uh, cytokine cocktail for cultivating your T cells. And we stick on IL-7 and IL-15 and that in preliminary experiments but also in clinical data could show very long endurance response maybe due to transduction not only of effector but also but naive cells which then maturate into a second row of, of soldiers, uh, effector T cells, which are created later on and which can continue the battle against CD19 positive uh, neoplasia.